What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how you can make $10,000 weekly if you're an insurance agent or financial advisor. Let's go. All right, guys. So today I'm going to walk you through on my computer here how to be making $10,000 weekly as an insurance agent or financial advisor. I'm going to walk you through the stats that come from the agents and advisors that are running our program. So for those of you that don't know, my name is Justin Thomas. This is my channel. And together with my business partner, Josh Lustig, we have a company called Insurance Advertising Masters, IAM, where we are a consulting company and we teach insurance agents, help insurance agents and financial advisors that currently feel like they are doing well but they want to scale, they want more systems in place. We teach them how to do appointment generation, sales, follow-up systems, and then once those things are taken care of, we show them how to use business structure and employees in order to turn it into a real business that makes money for you, whether you're sleeping, on vacation, you know, going to a conference, whatever you wanna do, but ultimately the people create businesses for what those businesses can do for them. So we teach them how to turn it into a business that runs like a machine and that way they can just focus on scaling the business. And so I'm gonna go through some of the math, especially when our clients are implementing a lead generation or appointment generation system that flips the script. And instead of having you know a bunch of referrals that aren't repeatable or predictable, or you know going and buying leads from a lead vendor where you could have one good batch, one bad batch, but more importantly, you're chasing people with both of those methods. What we do is we teach our clients how to use video and you know written word websites and things like that to really express their expertise, their knowledge and their stories in the most ethical way to educate the clients and get them to come to them and work with them because they're the ones that are displaying their authority, displaying, you know, the knowledge that they know, and because of that, it naturally attracts clients to them. And when you can do that, it allows you to free up a lot more time because you're not constantly chasing people and you're not constantly in a state of having to look desperate and just really flips the script. So I'm going to go through what that looks like and how you can use that system or really any system that you have. But the thing is you need to have a system in place. You need something that is replicatable, but also predictable to where you can have one input that equals a certain output. And that way you can continue to scale it up. So with our system, in order to write $10,000 a week, our agents, they are writing cases that are going to pay them right around $2,000, a little bit above that in first year commission. And then for the financial advisors, typical average case that's getting written, they're typically doing like 1% of assets under management. It comes out to about 500 to a thousand dollars per month. I mean, obviously with that, if you're selling, you know, if, if one policy sold, well, it's not really a policy if you're a financial advisor, but one client is going to get you $5,000 to $10,000 over the first year, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to do this. So the point is, Really, the very first step is being able to sell a product that's gonna pay you a lot more, especially than what the average insurance agent out there is writing. Most of our clients, once they come in, they really abandon the niches of final expense and, and mortgage protection because we teach them how to actually work with the people that they wanna be working with, and then they sell what's best for them, which for a lot of people are gonna be fully underwritten whole life, IULs, those types of products, which is why we see our average client making 2,000 plus per policy written rather than, you know, the typical 700, $500 that you see the normal agent doing. So that's really one benefit about being able to choose who you work with and actually putting out education and people come to you. Now there's one caveat to this video is that what I'm going to show you will work amazingly. If you have already developed great skills, like you understand the insurance world very well, you understand your line of work and being able to manage people's money. If you're a financial advisor, but in the insurance world, if, you, if you've already gone through however long it takes you to be very proficient in understanding products, this is going to be a fast thing for you to pick up. Now, if you are more on the side of things where you're newer, you're going to have to develop some skills and you're probably not going to be doing $10,000 weekly right off the bat, but the principles are still the same. You just need to develop your skills a little bit more in sales and marketing 
product knowledge, product structure, all of that stuff in, in order to be able to execute on this to the level that I'm gonna be talking about today. So let's go into it. So what do we need in order to get to $10,000 a week? So go right here. We got 10,000. So if our average agent gets paid $2,000 per policy, policy, well, it's pretty easy math. Then you only need to sell five per week. You know, we have people that are selling annuities. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, people that are doing assets under management that are getting well above this number per client. So, you know, if you're selling an annuity and you get paid $5,000, off one policy, then you actually only need to do two a week, but let's just kind of go with this average number. And then, uh, you know, for Medicare, it's a little bit different. Uh, Medicare, we're not really shooting for upfront commission. We're really looking for, you know, the renewals over time. And so for Medicare, the goal would really be hitting that 30 to 50 policies per month mark. Uh, it really gets you set on a great pace in order to start building up your renewals really well. Uh, but we can talk about that in another video. This one really applies a lot more to uh, the types of agents that are getting paid uh, healthier amounts up front. And this will be really the pathway to being able to execute on that. So if we need to sell five policies a week, uh, there's a few things we need to calculate here. So our average agents are closing at a 30% close rate. And uh, mind you, right, with this system, this is all virtual. This is all over Zoom or over the phone. You know, it really takes out any of the, the chasing so you can completely eliminate dial days. You can completely eliminate uh, anything that has to do with you chasing. And there are some places in the system where that can be helpful, but we really try to teach people that are the business owners to not be doing that part themselves. For the most part, if we use the advertising properly and we're putting out videos, that are educating people right in the most ethical way to advertise you're really just educating people and demonstrating your authority and your knowledge then people are going to come to you and they're going to book on your calendar after watching a video and so what we need to do here is if if we're closing at 30 percent right then in order to hit five sales a week that means that we need to have 16 appointments per week that we actually are speaking to somebody on that's an actual fruitful appointment right um now not every single appointment that books is going to show up and be a fruitful appointment so on average for our clients they have a 70 percent show up rate so if we need 16 appointments to show up and have a fruitful conversation that means that we need a little bit more than that to book all right, so at a 70% show up rate, we need 23 appointments to book. So I hope you guys are seeing like, obviously, you know, we're just doing math here. But the thing is that like when you have a goal, the way to get to that goal is to figure out the math behind it and then have an action plan and then just execute on that action plan. And once you start executing and taking action on that action plan, if it's not coming out the way that you want it to be or the way that you planned, then we look at where the holes are and figure out what skills we need to develop, right? So if our close rate is a little bit lower than what the math is, then we know that we need to work on our sales skills. Now, if our, uh, you know, appointments are, um, you know, if any of these other things are off, then we really just need to work on our advertising skills. And uh, every, every single one of these chunks here, if there is a hole in it, we're going to be able to pinpoint and diagnose exactly what's going wrong. And then we just spend some time developing that specific skill. Uh, you know, if you're not closing $2,000 per policy uh, or higher than that, then we either need to pick a better market or we need to develop our knowledge on product structure or we either need to develop our actual sales skills and our ability to deliver and articulate the value that uh, the recommendation that your recommendation is, is going to provide. So from here, you know, it, it really just becomes pretty simple. So we need to book 23 appointments. And from there, we will actually have 16 of those show up. And then if you close at 30%, then you're gonna hit five a week. If you maintain the $2,000 per policy, then you're gonna hit that $10,000 per week right there. Um, you know, and some of you may be saying that, you know, this sounds, sounds pretty easy. It sounds a lot easier than, you know, what I'm doing. 
running around, driving around my town, my city, 50 miles, mile radius, chasing people, selling $500 policies uh, that I get paid $500 on. Yeah, it's a lot more work. And so what we try to do is teach you how to make this a lot easier. And so, um, you know, when you have a proper advertising platform in place, you know, obviously this costs money. Now there's, there's two buckets that people fall into. There's people that have more time or you have more money. And really this video is for people that fall under the bucket of they have more money than time and they have a lot of knowledge and they're able to sell policies like this on a, on a daily basis or a weekly basis at least, or even a monthly basis, they can sell these policies, right? They know how to do it, but what they lack is enough people to talk to, right? Cause that's typically what we find, right? You either have people um, that have spent a ton of time developing their knowledge. They're really like thought leaders in the space, but they really just don't know. They don't know crap about uh, lead generation. They don't know anything about how to use marketing or, or the internet in order to get people in front of them. And so uh, that's really the first thing we, we teach here. And so, you know, when you have more time than money, obviously, if we're going to be using paid advertising, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, we're going to be sending them to our, our, our video that we have that's going to educate them. It's going to cost some money. So uh, right here, we're going to do we're going to do the math here. Um, on average for these types of policies, right? You know, we're not talking about final expense. We're not talking about Medicare. We're not talking about health insurance, any of those more mass market things. Those, those numbers are going to be different. They're going to be a lot cheaper, but for the people selling annuities, IULs, infinite banking policies, what they can typically expect is, uh, these appointments are going to cost them a hundred dollars. Now I know what you're probably thinking hundred dollars per appointment. That sounds insane. Justin, you're insane. You've lost your mind. But let's just uh, look at the math here. So if it only takes you 23 appointments in order to, uh, you know, execute on these numbers right here, then you take 23 appointments times a hundred dollars and you, you're going to be spending $2,300 on average per week. Now, I don't know about you, but if I every single week could pay somebody $2,300 and they would give me ten thousand dollars back yeah i would do that every single week and so i hope you guys do that you, you would do that as well too because if you, if you are that way you're my people and you, and you fit in with uh you know the people that we're trying to help here uh if you would not do that then you probably shouldn't be a business owner because you don't understand how business works uh but that's okay um so if that if it does make sense to you if you are the type of person that would easily spend 2300 in order to make ten thousand dollars a week and you you fall into that bucket right now of um you know, I know how to sell these large policies. I know how to sell, uh, you know, properly funded cash value, max funded whole life policies. I know how to sell IULs. I know how to sell annuities and I can make this kind of money. And I, I do it, I do it, you know, a decent amount throughout the year. But, but what I'm finding is that, uh, I just can't find enough people to talk to because I'm using those old ways, right? I'm using prospecting, I'm using referrals that are just not predictable. Well, then all you need to do is just get a system that's going to just bring these people to you over and over again. And so, you know, the math becomes pretty easy and it just becomes a, a system that you run. And from there, you're able to scale your business. I know I'm making this sound like it's incredibly easy, but the fact of the matter is it's really just not that difficult where it becomes difficult is, you know, you, you have somebody that, that watches this video and, and they have no idea what or how to structure a policy that could make them this much money. And then they have a lot of other skills that need to be developed and, and that takes a lot longer. But if you're already at that point where you know how to sell, you know how to structure things properly and you know how to recommend the right things and you're going to get paid well for it. The only thing that you're missing is a system that's going to generate you. These people consistently, you have an input, you put the input in and you have the output that comes out. That's the only thing you're missing. Then yeah, this is a relatively simple way to get to $10,000 a week. To give you very specific numbers, my best student, Michael, you know, he's, he's one of these people that I'm talking about. He focuses on teachers. He has a niche that he serves. He sells them, you know, life insurance and annuities and 403 B's and his very first month, just implementing proper advertising and just educating clients and using the internet to get his message out. But he spent $11,500 on ads. So he paid that money to Facebook to get his message out 
in order to demonstrate, to allow people to know that he knew what he was talking about, right? Because prior to spending that money, he was very, very smart, but not a lot of people knew it. And until you can figure out a way to demonstrate that to many people, you're just a really smart person that isn't making great money or able to, you know, share that message to the world. So you need to figure out a way to, to share that message to the world. And that does take money. You know, if, if you're not willing to spend 11,000 to make what I'm about to tell you he made, then, you know, business probably isn't for you. It, it probably makes more sense to be an employee, but um, we'll, we'll go through some, some real numbers here and I'll show you, but it's just as simple as this right here. Just having a system, having these things in place, once you get it going, once you start working on it, you see if there's any holes that you need to develop any more skills. So he spent $11,500. It generated him 104 appointments. So that would be an appointment cost of, of right around $110. 72 of them actually show up. And I don't know the exact number of policies that he ended up selling, but I do know that he made 58,000 in first year commissions real numbers here right he's 70 percent here i don't know his exact close rate i don't know his exact number of policies sold but i know that his commission was fifty eight thousand dollars so he spent eleven thousand to make fifty eight thousand dollars in first year commission it becomes as easy as this and, and you know i can i can make videos all day going through how you could you know if you're not ready to spend this amount of money um, how we could do it, you know, a more inefficient way using your time. Um, uh, but you know, there's other videos out there and those are, uh, you know, buying leads and, and doing that are really a great place to start. You know, if you don't have the product knowledge, if you don't have the sales skills, if you don't have that stuff built up, if you really only know how to sell final expense or mortgage protection, you know, we can help you and, and there's, there's different numbers there, but what really gets me excited are, are about all those agents and all those financial advisors out there that have put so much time into their craft. And if you're not there, that's okay. What you need to do is just put in that time. And in a lot of the times, you know, we, we tend to try and, and skip ahead and just go straight to, you know, more advanced lead gen systems like this. Um, we try to look for the shortcut, but the problem is that like, if you don't have those foundations built up and then you just go to a system where, and again, I'm not saying for, for, you know, we have tons of clients that just focus on Medicare, just focus on health insurance, just focus on final expense, just focus on mortgage protection. They're able to generate appointments for, you know, $30, $40, a lot, a lot cheaper than this. Uh, and, and we love helping those clients. The numbers are just a little bit different, um, you know, because the policy isn't so big, but what I try to push them to is really, you know, continue to cut your teeth that way. You're going to learn your skills. You're going to get better at sales. Well, you're not going to get better at product knowledge unless you focus on it. And that's the thing is like so many people get into final expense or mortgage protection, and then they just stop there. They stop learning. They stop trying to learn anything else. They stop trying to develop the skill in order to really help any other people. And so that's why, you know, when so, so many of our clients come in, I try and urge them, okay, cool. Let's start with where you're at. Let's get you running on this. Ultimately, the fastest way to build a machine in order to be able to scale, have enough margins to have a team to where your business can truly be making money without you is to be able to sell these more advanced policies where you can make more dollars per person. Right? We want to get to a point where you're not trading dollars for time. And if you are trading dollars for time, let's make those a lot of dollars so that it can be efficient. And so if you are not at this point, right, if you're not at this point where you can, you know, sell policies where you're making $2,000 plus $5,000 from an annuity, you know, all the way up to, you know, some annuities pay, depending on how big, you know, you can get an annuity that pays 50,000. But if you're not at that point, it's okay. Just understand it's, it's totally okay. And what you need to start doing is just continue to develop your sales skills, but also spend a ton of time continuing to learn. Never stop learning. And then once you get to that point where you've learned a ton, you know how to structure policies correctly, you can talk about them back and forth and you just know everything about them. And the thing that you're missing is a lead gen system. We got to transition because at that point you'll have more money than time. We take that money, we put it back into our business and create a system that's predictable in order to start spreading our message to the market so that people understand 
and people start to know how competent you are, really all of the hard work that you put in, they're now able to see and you're able to get that out to the market. And then from there, we just use the money because we have more money than time, turn that into a system. And then, you know, getting up to $10,000 per week becomes easy. It's just as scalable as running these numbers. This video does two things, okay? I hope for the people, the, all the agents out there that are rather advanced, but they're still working dinosaur methods. They're still only working referrals. They're still only, you know, maybe buying leads. You know, I hope this video for you opens your eyes up to what you could be doing. And then the second thing for the agents that aren't there, the agents that are just getting started, the agents that are just learning a simple product like final expense or mortgage protection, you know, maybe health insurance. But again, if you're learning health insurance, you can still learn more products. Your license to sell a lot more things. Don't limit yourself to just one thing, but get good at one thing, then start learning more things. Never stop learning. I hope that what this does is it opens your eyes to a path that you can get down and a path that you can head towards that will really create financial freedom with the vehicle that you chose of being an insurance agent or financial advisor, because it's a very, very lucrative industry. And really all it takes is you developing the proper skills and those can be done and learned rather quickly, but it just takes you putting in the work to do it. So I really hope that I accomplish those two things with this video. Um, you know, unfortunately there's probably going to be some people out here that, that don't like this video and you know, that's okay too. You know, if you don't like it, then, and, and you are just at the position where you feel that you don't need to grow and you want to just continue to do what you've been doing and you get offended by this video, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, really, again, like I said, trying to inspire some people with this video. And also for the people that are out there that are agents that are currently crushing it, uh, just letting you know that all you have to do is, is use that money that you have because you're going to have more money than time and put it into an efficient system. And then the numbers, it just becomes math on how to scale that business up. If you like this video, please hit the like button. You know, if you didn't like it, just subscribe. Don't hit the like button. If you did like it, also hit the subscribe button because it really does help our channel. It helps me to continue to put out videos. For any of you that are looking for any videos, please put in the comments below any other videos that you're looking for. Uh, if you're specifically looking for any sort of advertising tips, if you're looking for any specific sales tips, anything like that, please put it in the comments. The more info and ideas I can get on what videos to make, the more inspiration it gives me to make those videos. So please be active. Let me know in the comments what you're looking for. Thank you for sticking around for this video. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one.